Today we have a showdown between the Poly Voyager Focus UC2 wireless headset and the Tilde Pro. Because of your guys' feedback, you've been requesting this comparison. So let's get into it right now. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew and this is the channel Headset Advisor where we review all things business headsets, speaker phones and webcams. So do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more videos just like this. Before we get started, Jeff is gonna put up the tech specs on the screen right now. If you wanna read through those, go ahead and pause the video. Once you're done reading those over, hit play and follow me along. Before we get into the mic test and then the pros and cons of the Tilde Pro, I wanted to just give you a sneak peek into how the Focus UC2 sounds without any background noise and when it's connected as a wired headset. As you can see, there's a cord here connected from the headset going into a USB port and the USB adapter is not plugged in. So this is gonna charge your headset as you can use it. The audio you're hearing is on our um, camera microphone. Now the audio you're hearing is on the Voyager Focus UC2. If there was no noise going on, this is just a quick sneak peek until we do the full showdown between the Tilde Pro and the Focus UC2 microphone. If you're finding value in this video so far, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you wanna order either of these headsets, you don't need to pay full price. You can buy either one of these on the headsetadvisor.com website using coupon code YouTube for an additional discount. The Focus UC2 is anywhere from 329 to 349 MSRP. The Tilde Pro is anywhere from 329 to 399, depending on the model you choose. All right, so let's get back into it. Starting to my left, we have the Poly Voyager Focus UC2. This is gonna be one you're most familiar with out of these two headsets. So let's go through the pros and cons. First off, the Focus UC2 is by far one of the most comfortable headsets I've ever worn. I don't know what they did between this headband design and, and the cushions, but whatever they did, it works really well if you wanna wear a headset for many hours in a day. You can adjust the headset very far, as you can see the speakers aren't even fully on my ears, or you can tighten it up to really fit great on your ears. You can wear the microphone on the right side, you can wear the microphone on the left side. And another feature that I really like that I didn't think I would use as much is the microphone uh, mute feature. There's two buttons you can use, or two ways that you can mute the microphone. One, you can move the microphone up, that's gonna mute your microphone. When you move the microphone down, it would unmute your microphone. Or there is a red button on the microphone right here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but if you press that button one time, it will mute your microphone, just like other headsets are used to. Press that same button and it will unmute the microphone. There's a number of customizations that you can do with this headset when you download the Polyhub software, and we're gonna show that to you in just a minute. As you see on the desk here, we have a charging stand that the headset was resting in. You can either get it with the charging stand, or if you wanna save some money, you can order this headset without the charging stand. If you order it without the charging stand and realize down the road you actually would like the charging stand, that's okay because you can order that separately. Also, another advantage to the Poly is it includes this USB adapter. If your computer does not have Bluetooth, you will be able to use this headset on the computer when you plug the USB adapter in. Not only is this good for connectivity, it's also good for certain features. For example, if you were to connect the Poly headset to say Microsoft Teams, Cisco, Avaya, Zoom, Ring Central, and the list goes on, you will get the added ability to answer and end calls from the headset when you step away from the computer. So if you wanna be in another room and not have to run back to your computer to answer a call, the Poly Voyager Focus UC2 with this USB adapter will allow that capability only with compatible soft phones. If you don't know if your soft phone is compatible, contact us here at Headset Advisor and we'll be more than glad to verify compatibility for you. You have active noise cancellation, you have either off, low, or high, so you can really customize the speakers to block out how much noise you wanna block out or not block out, and you have a noise canceling microphone on the Focus UC2. But once we put it up to the test of the noises that we're gonna compare it against, we'll see how much noise the microphone may or may not 
cancel out. Only you can be the judge. Once we go to do that test here in just a minute, let us know your thoughts in the comments, which headset performed best. So that's the Focus UC2. Very good headset. It's gonna have a brand that you're familiar with. Uh, overall, a workhorse. You can't go wrong choosing the Focus UC2. Moving over to my right, we have the Tilt Pro from Orosound, which is a brand that may be more unfamiliar. Give it some time though, and I promise you, you will know the name Orosound when it comes to office headsets. They're a French company that designs and manufactures their headsets in France. Myself personally, I think the look of the Tilt Pro is really nice. It has this minimalistic feel and design. It's like got this like titanium look on the outside as well as on the headband uh, with this mixture of the black cushions and whatnot. I think it just looks cool. But most likely you're not buying a business headset to be cool. You want it to be comfortable and sound good. So when you put the headset on, it fits very nice. Now I'm not gonna say it's more comfortable than the Focus UC2. I'd say it's comparable, but the Focus UC2 is certainly gonna have an edge when it comes to comfort. It has these leatherette ear cushions and a padded headband that's also leatherette. But something, two things that the Voyager Focus UC2 can't do that the Tilt Pro does is one, you can remove the microphone. And when you wanna use it again, you just reattach it. When you remove the microphone, you still have microphones built in. So if you're on a call, people will still be able to hear you. But when you attach the microphone boom, you're gonna be heard much better and it's noise canceling. So it's gonna help reduce unwanted background noise. And we're gonna do the showdown, the microphone test showdown here in just a minute. So keep watching. We'll get to that in just one second. So not only can you remove the microphone boom, but you can also remove the speakers and switch to larger speakers. So say you order the headset today and you realize that you want something that goes over your ears, say a year or two years down the road, rather than throwing that headset away and buying a new one, all you would need to do is buy some inexpensive ear cushions, install them on the headset, if I can do this properly. Third time's a charm. So that's the left speaker and here is the right speaker. So now you have a headset, let me adjust it. Now you have a headset that fully encloses your ears and then if you want the microphone boom on, you can do that. So the Tilt Pro comes in four variations. You can either get it with the small ear cushions and no microphone boom, you can get it with the small cushions and the microphone boom, or you can get it in the variation that I'm wearing right now which is the Tilt Pro C Plus, or if you didn't want the microphone boom, you'd get it in the Tilt Pro C version. You'll see those different options. It may sound like a lot on this video, but you'll see the different options and images on the headsetadvisor.com website. Like the Focus UC2, the Tilt Pro does have active noise cancellation as well, but Orosound refers to it as active noise reduction. Their goal is not to block out all of the noises going on around you. Their goal is to block out the noises that cause distractions for you to really zone in on your calls and meetings. You're going to have a more adjustable active noise cancellation on the Tilt Pro versus the Focus UC2. You only get two levels of adjustment on the Focus UC2 between low and high. The Tilt Pro has this adjustment right here on the speaker that you can adjust um, on or off four levels whichever way. So if you want less noise cancellation, you adjust it backwards. If you want more noise cancellation, you adjust this toggle forwards. You'll hear a, a beep tone when you're at max active noise cancellation, or you'll hear another set of beep tones if you go the opposite way to know that the ANC is fully turned off. On the left side of the Tilt Pro speaker, you have this voice first button, which allows you to hear your surroundings. So if someone starts talking to you and say you're zoned out in your music, you're at a coffee shop or something, and someone starts talking to you, rather than taking your headphones off and then talking to them and putting your headphones back on, that can get quite annoying, especially if you're in an open office scenario where you're constantly having conversations with different people. Instead of taking the headphones off, all you would do is press the button on the left side of your speaker, it opens up the microphones, and you can hear everything going on around you. On the Tilt Pro, you have a minus button, a plus button, and then a pause play button in the back of the speaker. 
If you wanna mute your microphone when you don't have the mic boom on, all you do is hold the minus sign for about two seconds and then it will mute and unmute your microphone. When you install the microphone, which is very easy as you can see, I love doing that by the way. Uh, if you order this pair of headphones, you're gonna also love taking this thing off and on, I promise you, uh, it's, it almost gets addicting. So uh, anyways, when you have the microphone on, there's a mute button that you can press. Unlike the Focus UC2, it's very small on this model, but when you go to the Tilde Pro, there is a giant mute button. So I don't know if you can see on this video, but there's a very big mute button you can click and it's very easy to press and you know for sure you're on mute because when you mute your microphone, it will give you a tone or a voice in your headset telling you that mute is on. The Tilt Pro also seamlessly connects to two devices at once. So you can have it connected to your computer as well as your mobile phone and seamlessly switch between uh, both devices. If your computer does not have Bluetooth built in, the Tilde Pro at this current point in time does not have one of these Bluetooth USB adapters yet. That being said, there may be one coming out in the near future. In the meantime, there is other USB adapters you could get if you really want to get the Tilde Pro and your computer does not have Bluetooth. Just contact us at Headset Advisor and we can help show you which USB adapter that you'd want to get. All right, enough of me talking. I know you're tired of it by now. Let's dive right into the microphone noise cancellation test and you guys can once and for all be the judge on which sounds best. Just like you saw earlier, you can use the Focus UC2 as a wired headset. You can also do the same thing with the Tilde Pro. So the audio you're hearing is on the camera. Now the audio you're hearing is on the Tilde Pro microphone for you to compare what you heard earlier on the Focus UC2. This is what it would be like in a quiet room, but we're gonna jump right into the microphone noise cancellation test showdown between these two headsets and you let us know which one performs best. Okay, now we have office ambient noise going on. It's extremely loud going through our PolySync 20 speaker phone. This is what it sounds like on the camera microphone and now switching over to the Focus UC2. This is the difference of having a non-noise canceling mic versus a noise canceling microphone. Let's go ahead and look at the decibel reader and see it's about 76 decibels on average, which is very loud and distracting. Now we're back with the office ambient noise going on and using the Tilt Pro. The audio you're hearing is on our camera. Let's switch it over, Jeff. And now the audio you're hearing is on the microphone of the Tilt Pro, so you can get a comparison. This is with the microphone on, and this is with the microphone off, as you can hear the difference. When you have the microphone back on, that's how easy it is to switch between the two. Now the decibels are, it's going pretty loud, about 77 to 80 decibels on the office ambient noise. For those of you that have dogs, we have that playing on our PolySync 20 speakerphone. And if you had to listen to this all day and callers on the other end had to listen to this, that would be extremely distracting. Now the audio you're hearing is on the Focus UC2. So you can be the judge on how much noise the microphone is canceling out. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. But right, let's see the decibel reader. Yeah, it's at about 83 decibels, extremely distracting. We're back with our least favorite noises to hear on these tests, the dogs barking. This is what it sounds like on our camera microphone. Now we're on the Tilt Pro, the noise canceling microphone boom. This is what it sounds like if I was talking, and this is what it sounds like if I'm not talking. Also in comparison, if you take the microphone boom off, this is what it sounds like. And when you put it back on, this is what it sounds like in comparison. So if you have dogs barking around you and it's extremely loud and distracting, almost ear piercing, having dual speakers and a nice microphone is gonna help reduce that. Switching over to our famous blender test. This is what it sounds like without the microphone of the headset. Now you're hearing us on the Focus UC2 microphone with this blender going crazy. I just wish it was a margarita at this point after listening to those dogs speaking. And we're at about 86 decibels. So this is what it would be like if you were blending margaritas in the morning while you're on phone calls. We're back with the famous blender test. This is what it sounds like on our camera microphone. Switching over to the Tilt Pro microphone. This is what it would sound like in comparison. I think it's at about 85 decibels on average, which is extremely loud. In comparison, this is what it's 
like when you're not using the microphone boom. I'll put it back on. There we go. The microphone boom is back on. And if you want to mute it, all you do is click the button. And when you unmute it, you're back live on the call. And that's in real time what it would be like. Now we have a giant fan running. As you can see, it's going as fast as it possibly can go. This is what it sounds like on our camera microphone. Now this is what it sounds like on the Poly Voyager Focus UC2. Let me go ahead and stop talking so you can hear what it would sound like if I wasn't speaking. One last test. This is what it sounds like on the camera microphone. And this is what it sounds like on the Focus UC2 microphone. We're back at our last microphone test with the fan going strong on the Tilt Pro. You're hearing the audio through the camera microphone. Now let's switch over to the Tilt Pro. This is what it sounds like in comparison. And if you took off the mic boom, this is what it would sound like if the fan was going. So you can be the judge for yourself on how it sounds. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. With these different mic tests, which one you thought performed best? Before we end this video, I had to throw my glasses on so I can show you guys the software for Poly as well as Orosound. And I'd highly recommend no matter which model you choose, download the app. That way you can keep your headset up to date and customize a number of features if you want to do so. So first off, we have the Plantronics Hub or the Poly Hub, being that Poly and Plantronics are now the same. So as you can see, the BT700 is plugged in. If you go to settings, you'll have general, you can do certain things like turn the BT700 into pairing. Uh, you can go to settings here. You can choose ringtone and volume. You can go to your soft phone applications and choose if you want the dial tone on or off. You can target which soft phone application uh, you want to choose, depending on what you have, whether you have Avaya, Zoom, Cisco, all of that. So as you can see, you have a number of customizations there. Now, if you go to the top left, you're going to have um, you'll be able to choose between the USB adapter as well as the headset. So if you click the Voyager Focus 2, you're gonna have some other adjustments. For example, uh, if it wants to take its time, there we go. If you go to general, you're gonna have all these different customizations like a mute reminder and notification tones, um, the tone of the audio. You can control uh, if the mute on off is voice or a tone. So as you can see, you have a number of customizations here. And then lastly, you can make sure the headset is up to date. And that's a quick run through through the Poly Hub that I'd highly recommend you get. Switching over to the Tilt Pro, if you do decide to choose this headset, it's also recommended that you download the Oro Sound Link app. That way you have your headset updated and working great at all times. Plus you'll be able to go through some customizations that I'll quickly show you. As Oro Sound continues to grow, who knows what else you'll be able to customize within this app. So you'll see here, you have your device name, serial number, firmware, all of that good stuff. Um, and you'll also have your battery level meter, which could be helpful. Going over one screen, you're gonna have general, telephony advanced. You can read through each of these. You can hit the info icon if you wanna read more about it. Under telephony, you're gonna have your side tone level. Many of you are going to wanna adjust the side tone level in your microphone for what's most comfortable for you. So keep that in mind. And then you'll have your desk phone mic level, desk phone listening level. If you connect the headset to a desk phone, you'll be able to further adjust how the headset sounds. Going down one, you have advanced, and that just allows you to reset the Bluetooth settings. Going over one more screen, this is where you would update the headset. So if there's an update available, it would show in here. You'd run through the update and your headset would be performing as best as possible. And this is what the Orosound Link app software looks like. Now you may be asking yourself, which headset do I choose? They're both amazing. They're both very similar in certain ways, but they're also very different in other ways. And there is no right or wrong answer. Either model that you choose is gonna be a great choice. If you want something that's made in France type quality, gives you a longer warranty, flexibility to switch from small cushions to larger cushions, and has that removable microphone boom so you can use it as more of a hybrid headset, the Tilt Pro would probably be the way to go. If you want something that's geared towards specifically your business use, calls and meetings only, and you want that added ability to um, connect to a computer that doesn't have Bluetooth, and you may want that feature to answer calls in another room, 
then the Focus UC2 may be the way to go. As I mentioned, you can't go wrong on either one you choose, but let us know which model you would choose based on everything we've told you and the different tests that we've done. If you found this video helpful, we also did an in-depth review on each of these headsets separately, and I think you'd also find those very helpful. There's gonna be a video right here, up there, and another one right up there. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this.